Next we're going to see how to do a transparent text effect. On the S drive in the fireworks folder you should find a text tricks folder and let's demonstrate this effect with the autumn photo one. And mine came out kind of big. I'm going to resize it. I'm going to resize the image size maybe to like 800 by 500. So it fits our demonstration window a little bit better. You can keep yours whatever size you like. Make it a little bigger if you'd like to even. Again, like with most text effects, the font you choose is uh, going to have an influence on how well your text effects looks. I'm going to stick with the standard stencil that we used on a previous example. And let's crank this up pretty big. 96 for my size. Uh, that might be a little bit too big. Again, the font size depends on the size of your picture, if you scaled it down or not. I want to crank mine down maybe to around 48. 47, 48. There we go. And I'm going to type in some text. Of course, I need to have the text have a fill. I'll go with a black fill for now. And maybe we'll make this autumn colors. I should have stretched my text box out a little bigger. Oops, I have my background moving. I'm going to lock my background layer so I can move the text without much problem. Now I'm going to drag this text. Uh, now I'm going to leave it up in the sky for now. We'll put the text up in the sky for this demonstration. Okay, so be sure the text box is still selected. I need to move my screen up a little bit for this next step. We're going to add another filter. Again, we're going to use the bevel embossed and we're going to use a raised emboss filter this time. And for the options, let's set the width to maybe about four or five. And again, feel free to experiment with this as you're doing yours to see what that setting actually does. And we're going to change the contrast all the way up to 100%. Softness two or three should be good. And the angle, let's choose a smaller angle somewhere around 40. Between 30 and 40. There we go. And finally we want to unclick the show object checkbox. And there we have our nice transparent text. Of course you can still move the text around. If you don't like it in the sky you could move it down over the trees. You could actually double click on the raised emboss filter that's already down in the bottom properties panel and make some further adjustments if you wanted to.